G'day guys, Greg here. Now, it's a beautiful day today and, well, I've been invited over to a friend's place. Yes, I do have friends. And, well, they're supplying the meat and, well, I said, what can I bring? And they said a potato salad. So I thought, oh, awesome. I've got a great recipe for that. So how about I show you how I like to make it? Here's the ingredients I'm using. But don't worry, I'll be letting you know all the measurements along the way. Right, well, first of all, we need to get these potatoes on the boil. So I've got a kilo of potatoes here and I'll cut these into two centimetre cubes. We want everyone to be able to pick up their potatoes on the fork with ease. So I'll put these in a good sized saucepan. I'll give them a rinse. Get rid of that starch. And then we just fill it up with cold water, just so it's covering them. And we'll add some salt into the water. You always got to add salt into the water when you're cooking potatoes. And we'll get that on the boil. Now, when you're boiling this, you don't want to overcook them. You want them just on the edge of being cooked. Okay, well now it's time to cut up a few more things and make the sauces. So I've got a couple of spring onions here, which I'll get the white part of. And I'll finely, well as finely as you can, dice these bits up. Or if you just want to use a white onion, you can do that too. Or even a red onion, you could use that as well. Right, and then with these greener parts, we'll just finely slice these into their ringlets. And we can put those aside. Alright, so now we need to make a French dressing. So you'll need like a jar or something. I don't have a jar, so I'm just going to use this Tupperware container. But into this, we add two tablespoons of vinegar white wine vinegar is the best but i don't have it so i'm using apple cider vinegar which is just as good a quarter of a cup of olive oil that's 60 mils for you guys out there we need a tablespoon of water we just need half a clove of garlic for this we'll crush that now we'll just give it a nice little bit of garlicky flavour. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Half a teaspoon of white sugar. Just pretend this is white sugar, okay? I don't actually own any. Half a teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now just put the lid on, but we just need to absolutely shake it. Mix it nicely. All right, by this stage, your potatoes should be ready. So you want them sort of just undercooked. So there might still be a little bit of crunch to them, but you definitely don't want to overcook them because then it'll just turn into a big mush. And here's the bowl I'm going to be taking the potato salad in today. So we'll pour the cooked potatoes in there. And now we pour the French dressing in while the potatoes are still hot. Because that will allow the potatoes to absorb some of those flavours. And we can just gently fold this through just so the potatoes are covered in this French dressing. And we just want to let that sit and cool down for a couple of hours, ideally. But if you're anything like the old Grego, <laughs> you know that's not gonna happen. But ideally it will, and those flavors will be absorbed. So we'll just keep continuing on because I got some other things I need to do. All right, well the next step, we need to get the prosciutto ready. You can use bacon if you want, but you know, prosciutto can be nice and crispy. Now this one's got bits of plastic in between, so 
I don't want to cook that up, so I'll remove those. Now I'm using prosciutto. You can use bacon as well. I just use the whole packet. The more the better, I reckon. So I'll just heat up a frying pan. It should be hot by now. Oh! Oh, yes it is. So, I'll stick the prosciutto on. And get it nice and crispy. As you can see, that doesn't take long. Now you can cut it up before you stick it in. <laughs> but prosciutto is so hard to cut up, mate. This is a much easier way to do it. Just cook it to however you like it. You might want it a little bit soft or you might want it really crunchy. That's looking pretty good. And I'll throw the other bits on. Now that's all cooked, we can cut it into manageable size pieces. Well that's looking nicely diced. Right, what's next? So now it's time to make the creamy potato salad dressing. So for this we need a third of a cup of mayonnaise. third of a cup of sour cream one tablespoon of horseradish cream mmm I love this stuff some salt about half a teaspoon and some black pepper about a quarter of a teaspoon and we'll just mix that all together now the final thing we need is some dill and well, I just love dill in a potato salad. I mean, what's a potato salad without dill? It's kind of like a tonic without gin and I just love the smell of it. Ah, But you don't want too much dill, it can be very overpowering. That's about a couple of tablespoons worth. All right, well that's everything done. It's time to throw it all together. Okay, so we'll just throw in the onions, the dill. I'll throw in about two thirds of the prosciutto. We want some left over to garnish it with so it looks pretty. And just need to Throw in this creamy, delicious mix of fabulousness right here. And gently fold it together. Trying not to break up those potatoes. And now we just need to finish it off with that prosciutto that I saved before. And there we have it. A delicious potato salad I know my friends are gonna love. But I better test some first, make sure it's up to scratch. Mm. Oh man. They are gonna love this. That French dressing is seeped into those potatoes and they are extra soft and beautiful. And that creamy potato salad dressing, oh boy, that is so good. Mate, this whole dish tastes amazing and I know you're gonna love it. Well, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. I cook something up, see you then. Ooh, yeah.